Hey boys and girls, it's nice talking here. Welcome along today to Dassault Fort Siege. Check it, check it out. If you have a little look down on the left there, at the very, very bottom, if you haven't figured it out by now, given the title or whatever I'm going to give it, I'm playing Musket today. Um, I've received a bit of feedback over the last little while that, Knight, why don't you try something different? So I thought that I would take Musket. Um, today's the first day I've really been playing it. And the number one thing I'm finding at the moment is because I'm mixed up on all the buttons and I don't have any muscle memory at the moment for the musket, I'm having to take units with me that require less management. And in this case, it's going to be muskets. Because what's better than one musket? It's more muskets. Well, that's my theory anyway. Um, looking down the teams, we've got a notable absence of mauls, which I absolutely love. And the enemy team has no ranged uh, heroes. So my muskets are going to be fairly safe. Just before we jump into the battle, I want to let you know that if you'd like to join on the Discord server, the link is in the video description, and we'd love to see you in there if you're struggling with the game and want some feedback. If you'd like to see some uh, Conqueror's Blade memes, we have some memes, you know. Everyone likes memes. Well, I like memes. And uh, yeah, you can just chat with the crew as well or tee up some games. The link is in the video description. We're loading in now with this uh, beautiful loading in animation to sell Fort. Um, I've been told that uh, there are two versions of this map, and I've yet to see the other one. Um, I do play on both versions of the game, and I think they're the same. <laughs> Give me some feedback on that in the comments. I'd like to hear your your say-so on this. Um, you can't just go ahead and choose the map, of course. Um, so you have to keep playing and playing and playing until you get it. And I just can't seem to get it now that I've been made aware of this. So anyway, we've decided to go on the cannon uh, for a good start. Um, I don't use this particular cannon very often, so I'm sort of just trying to find the range here. Very conscious that I'm going to get hit in the face with a ballista if I don't get on with it. Although I can see where they're firing. One's firing down to the left, one's firing down to the right. So we should be okay there for now. Um, just checking out my map, I can see that we've got some good siege engines being pushed in, and our Metallolori seem to be doing their job very nicely. If you don't have the Metallolori unit, or uh, on my games they're called Metallatori, which is really confusing, because if you switch back to Frontier, Metallatori are actually a Falconetti. But these guys with the little hammers and the shields that push siege units, that cost silver to buy. I highly recommend this unit. Um, they get a damage reduction on the Siege Tower, which is around about 10% oh, at a guess. I don't, just like anything else in this game, I can't find firm figures. And um, they also have a 10% damage reduction on themselves, so they're a bit more resistant to heroes who want to, um, well, hit them while they're pushing in the Siege. Um, very, very useful there, and I can't recommend that unit enough. I'm just trying to like, knock them out of the... Um, I can't seem to... Ow! I was just trying to knock those guys out of the animation for kicking down the ladders, just to frustrate them more than anything else and keep them busy. And I don't really want to be caught by a door blaze or a maul, so uh, it's probably time to exit, especially when there's berserkers coming. Goodbye. Or not. Hmm, what's killing my Metallolori? My Metalluri getting kills. Let's go find them. Ah, just a bit of a beatdown. Were they serfs? I oh, know, domain pikemen. That's interesting that Metalluri killed a few. Good on them. <clears throat> so looking at the map, um, I can see I probably want to stick just with this unit for the moment because muskets aren't very good at pushing up walls. Um, we'll just try and be annoying with these uh, bombs and things. Please excuse me if I screw up my bombs a lot, because, again, this is the first day I'm using this, uh, this weapon, so um, I'm really relying on my game knowledge rather than my, my weapon knowledge. Let's see how we do. Kill a few of those suckers, it a little, took a little bit too long to get away. And I know what it's like being in this situation, being on the receiving end of a musket uh, when you're a longsword, and you're really not too worried, so I'll just ignore him for now. There's no chance whatsoever he's going to be able to kill me on his own. Um, I really would like to see those archers dead. They're only peasants, though, so probably a bit wasteful trying to... This is another problem I'm having, trying to find the ranges on the bombs and things. But, hey, we'll get there in the end, right? Ah, <laughs> and that firebomb, I'm always finding it's clipping corners, too. So, uh, uh, something that I need to be aware of. But again, I'm just learning. Be with me while I practice and get my new muscle memory in for this weapon. 
The other weapons I've played a lot are uh, dual blades, uh, long... Oh, there's Imperial Pikes. Run, 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 run. Too late. Um, yeah, so I've played a lot of dual blades, I've played a lot of pole axe, I've played a lot of longbow, and I've played just a little bit with longsword, you know, now and then. Hmm. Well, I really screwed up my unit management there, but <laughs> it's because I'm too focused on trying to throw bombs. <laughs> I do like bombs. Bombs are fun. Um, this is getting a bit messy, but it's all light troops, so maybe I can blow some up. Certainly prevent them uh, pushing down very quickly. Hmm. Can't push through there. I might call it a day up here and go and get some more troops. So at this point, I've still got some domain pikes I, might, I could take up there, but I think in the context of there being a lot of shields and things on our team on that particular ladder, I will take the Tercios. The reason I'm taking the Tercios over the Imperial Arcabuzios is the Tercios are far more tanky, and they're likely to get attacked, uh, you know, left, right, and centre up here, because as we push onto the A point, there's at least three ways that you can get at the Tercios, or, you know, any backline unit. So that's why I'm choosing them. They have just a little bit more survivability. The Imperial Arcabusiers, while dealing massive damage, do have a bit of a problem with survivability. These bombs are fun. If you haven't tried musket before, I'm actually quite enjoying it. Just have to watch that stairway. Those archers aren't going to do a hell of a lot to the, the Tercios, the peasant archers. So, not too worried, but I will just keep an eye on their health. Oh, this maul has made a mistake. These are not your average ranged unit, buddy. You're going to pay for it, especially when I slow you down with a musket. <laughs> a musket kill drops. And that is the last uh, Tercio that he will kill. He only killed two of them. But I do need to be a little bit careful of those archers now, because they could finish some off. Oh, that's some uh, cannonballs. Boom. We don't really need to stick around here now that we've got the point, but we are doing lots and lots of damage to these units over here. That was good, I got the range right on that bomb. Um, and I don't really want to stick my head out towards that uh, Hawacha arrow thrower because it will mess up my unit when they're damaged like this. You know, they might be a little bit damaged and lost two of them, but we did capture, uh, capture. we did absolutely murder them all. Uh oh, here's those arrows I was worried about. No losses, good. Alright, so the team are pushing up this way, and um, I guess I'll go with them. Um, mostly because, uh, you know, not being a longsword means that I can actually dish out quite a bit of damage with the hero. Which is quite novel for me, it's been a long time since I've played a damage dealing class. Although Musket appears, at this stage, to be still a reasonable support class. Um, or reasonably supporty. But I do like to be able to blow up units like that. <laughs> That's a lot of fun. Um, Tercios are ready. We'll bring them up here. We're just keeping them back. You know, we don't need to bring them into the action here. They're not going to fire around corners. So we just try and push in and try and demolish these shield maidens as much as we can. These shield maidens are not being used correctly. Uh, a shield wall without any support is just doomed to failure. So I don't know quite what that player was trying to achieve there. It is holding us back slightly but it's really not going to cost us any time or units to chop through them. And we'd be, we'd be pretty glad, actually, to spend that time um, just, well, killing a golden tier unit. Right. So I'm looking at the map. Um, the majority of our team are pushing up this way, so that makes me happy. <laughs> so... The reason I've just swapped over my musket unit is because I want to switch to the DPS now. Um, I can see lots of pikes, I can see shields, and I can see not much range other than these Namcans. Oh, whoop, there's another one in front of us. Maybe I underestimated how much range we've got. Um, but, generally speaking, um, I think we're going to be good. If we can get them down onto the flat, let's kill this for, for quests. Um, if I get them down onto the flat, they can do some really, really serious damage. Not much good up on the wall here, but we have got some pikes coming, so we'll kind of hang out with them. Also, having a short sword in the front here is pretty good too. Um, I can't remember the last time I tried to treb this, but you don't really get very good angles, so I will save that. 
What do we see here? And I've got to get out of this longsword thinking too, where I just stand up here and go, oh, look at that. You know, I've actually got the ability to fire down onto these guys. It's really a really, really big shift in thinking. And, you know, even if it doesn't kill them all, you know, it seriously damages them. So that when you get down there, they're very weak and very easy to kill. So with these pikes here, I feel quite confident in bringing down my um, DPS unit. Pike and shot. Very, very good combo and very historically accurate, and I absolutely love it. I really want to get in with the dual blades, but I will put this down so we get caught. But that's fine, he didn't get caught. Just trying to slow him down so it'd be easier for our team to kill. And again, I, I should have done that quicker. I should have been quicker thinking, but I'm not in the, the muscle memory and the ideas part of the the learning of the musket yet. Um, it's a fine line there. But we will push across because I can see some cavalry and our back looks kind of secure. So I do want to start um, shooting up everyone up here. These are return rangers. You hardly ever see them. This would be a good time. Oh, no. I totally misclicked that. With one pixel wrong. <laughs> Never mind. Um, we'll just chuck them on um, shoot everybody mode. This is the volley fire, the number two ability. And it is the, uh, the most DPS heavy skill in the game. Imperial Arkabuzias with Volley Fire are absolutely devastating, especially with the bottom line. I know, uh, I ran a poll recently, and um, a lot of people really like the top line that breaks shields, but I find that that's not as useful as being able to fire extra shots. You'd be quite surprised how often they fire extra shots, I think. Um, I can't really quantify it, but gee, I probably shouldn't be here as a musket. I wonder if we can bomb these guys. Um, but it's actually quite a lot, yeah. So... Good for you if you want to take top line. I love my bottom line. Get him. Yeah. Alrighty, so looking down, um, I can see my muskets are still firing away down that alleyway, and I know there's pikes and shields down there, so I'm quite comfortable with that. So I guess I will stand here and chill out on the point until we capture it. And then probably we'll push across to the C point, I imagine. We definitely will if the pikes and muskets are going. So, come on, lads. Let's go kill some people. Looks like the enemy are making a counter push here from right to left, which is going to end very badly when the cavalry get up there. Get him. Whoa, cavalry! I managed to get it right that time. <laughs> he tried to... That was obviously that guy that just died in front of me, um, trying to call his cavalry to save him. But with the Keltrops coming out there, the cavalry just got stuck and, well, not annihilated, some of them got away, but we probably killed half the unit there. Um, I'm just going to ignore this unit and try and push through them and start capturing. They haven't got enough here to really give me any concerns. Ooh, 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 can we get them? Not enough range. That's something I really have to work on, um, starting to understand the ranges and the flicks for, uh, for throwing the bombs. But in the meantime, we'll just bring the unit up. I did forget about them there briefly. I should have brought them down to fire at the hero and the... Um, Pavis. but again my muscle memory is all mixed up and I'm really struggling with my unit management at the same time as learning the new weapon. Let's go. I can't imagine what it would be like if you're a new player trying to learn the new weapon. That would be quite insane I think, quite difficult. But here we go, there's an opportunity for volley fire and we'll just get stuck in. There was an update a couple of months back, maybe a little bit longer, um, that allowed muskets to shoot up and down on, you know, raise the musket, lower the musket. Um, much better than they had been able to. Hmm. So most of our team are pushing off through the left passage. Um, it's not ideal for me. That curving passage does block the, the volley fire and you can't really stay at a comfortable medium distance. So I'm hoping some of these pikes and shields will go right. And they are. What are you guys shooting at? Lovely. Anyway, let's go. What are you doing? Um, it's really important here to check right, uh, make sure that uh, there are no enemies coming around, because they do have that top centre supply point still. So until we capture that, there's always the potential for cavalry. Um, at this point, we're committed anyway. I don't think that we can um, withdraw. So let's hope there's no cavalry. <laughs> Just push these serfs off the point so we can start capturing it. See if we can get the bomb out to the Parvis. Nope, I'm still mucking up my range. Did they get them? 
Yeah. I have a lot to learn. A lot, lot, lot to learn. But we still have our game knowledge and map knowledge, so that is really helping us quite a lot. Does anybody with a shield want to go and stand on the point? How yeah, can we throw over there? Yeah, that worked. Oh, didn't quite kill him. The way that you have to stand and uh, wait for opportunities or consistently load out damage is quite a bit different. Um, I've moved my gunners up here, uh, mostly because there's no chance whatsoever of getting cabbed there. But now that we hold the supply point, the only real way they can do it is to come around the left. And we've got we've got units there I can see on the map, so I'm not too concerned. Oh wee. This is a lot of stuff. This Imperial Arcs are doing some great work. I think I'm going to get, get a lot more use out of my muskets while I, um, while I learn this class. Give me a couple of weeks, I'll start playing something a bit more complex. Let's see if we can get some of those parvies and stuff. We are going to take some casualties, but, well, the game's nearly over, so who cares. Cavalry, 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 straight out of the pikes. <laughs> I guess, what, what do they have to lose at this point, right? And we get ourselves a victory, yay! Um, nothing exciting. So I go 65 kills. What's this? Carnifex gloves. No, reinforced plainsman stuff. We did 1.6 million damage, so that's quite lovely. You don't get those sort of numbers playing longsword. Two serves to great. Matalaluri did seven kills, so good for them. I pulled an MVP out somehow. With those numbers, that's amazing. We did get 304 participation. Um, and let's look at the map. How did it all go? Really, quite like clockwork, actually. Um, probably the smoothest musket game I've had to date. We did lose some Atalaluri outside the gates there to the uh, pikemen, but really, who cares? Um, and we did uh, lose some... Oh, what was that? It must have been the Tercios we lost a few of. But hey, that's life. And overall, I think we did really well. Um, our team killed more than twice the amount of heroes that the enemy did, and ultimately that's really what led to our victory. Anyway, uh, I hope you learned something new, or you just enjoyed the battle. Thanks for coming to my channel. Hey boys and girls, it's Night Stalker here again, and we're going to do part two of our musket video. I've decided I'm going to do a three-part one, because I had a bit of interest in me playing this. So here we go, check it check it out, or Golia Siege. And one of the things I realised about muskets is that you actually need to get uh, the, what's the, the medal that you get for five kills in a row without dying, um, to be able to progress to level three musket bomb. So that's the reason I've chosen the Kriegsrats, because they do... They're very good hero hunters um, because of their insane accuracy and rapid rate of fire. So hopefully this will pay off for us. Um, it does mean I'm probably going to need to be in the front row a bit. So let's see how this goes. Holy, look at that enemy team. It's like spear, 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 short sword, short sword, short sword, short sword, short sword, spear, 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 and a couple of others. <laughs> Fun. And we have the all advantage. We have one, two of them, and we have a fairly balanced team otherwise. So they're quite looking forward to this, actually. And here we go with our beautiful loading and animation. So the plan is use those Metallalori and get that siege engine pushed in. Um, one thing I didn't mention in the previous video is you can tell if something's being pushed by the Metallalori by a big, where is it? There we go. A big gold shield over the siege equipment. So if you've seen that big gold shield, that's what it is. It's the Metallalori pushing it in, uh, pushing the siege in, and they, um, oops, and they get a, a bonus to the defense of it and to themselves. So. You know, if you've got options, what the? <laughs> I, I overshot and killed something behind. That's nice. Right, that's better. Now we get the tricky shots on the oblique angle. Too far left. Mm. Still too far left. One thing you can do if you're new to the game is tr if you always try and take the same siege artillery, you you know every time you get a particular map, there we go, that's a good hit. If you get the same exact piece of uh, siege equipment every battle, you'll get better at the angles and things um, to be able to shoot other artillery. Whoops, it's destroyed. Um, stuff on the other side is being bombed. I think it's time to move in. See the big gold shield above the siege ram. That's being pushed by Metallalori. Well, obviously because we put them there. <laughs> but uh, uh, those ones don't have them. 
um, never mind. Alrighty. Oh, here's something I can't do with a longsword. Just try and screw with the people who are messing with my uh, siege pushes. Take that! Ha ha! 135 damage tick. Whatever. Such is life. But we should uh, break down that door real soon, and then we'll have a sort of a bit of a think about where we're going to go from there. Um, usually, next, I would try and take out some archers to take to the left or right flank and shoot over the walls into the A point, but we don't have them at the moment. So we'll just retreat those away, and we'll have a look at what's going on. There's a short sword over here. He didn't follow through. Uh, we've got berserkers. And siege towers, great. Okay, so we'll go back now and we'll probably get those Kriegsrat Fusiliers because there's a whole bunch of heroes in there that are relatively squishy, i.e. not heavy armour and longsword sort of things, and we'll try and gun them down. Um, not if our whole team's going left, though. We need at least something to cover these guys. What are we looking for? There's some serfs, and hopefully these watchmen will come with us too. That short sword's not going to know what hit him if he sticks around there. We'll place them nice and close, and we'll slow them all down with the spikes. Much easier to hit a unit that's um, not moving so fast. The Krieg's rat are, ex are extremely accurate. Which, oh, he's going to die. He's going to die already. No. Yes. Wrong guy, but never mind. Oof. So yeah, and they can track targets moving left and right very accurately, the Kriegs Rats, where, like the Tercios, well there we go, that's another one. Two out of three. Main mission not to die now. The Tercios can't hit um, a fast moving left to right at any sort of range, and that's um, a bit unfortunate, really. <laughs> can we get him? Can we get him? Yes! <laughs> well on our way to our medal. I'm glad this is going to plan. It's all going to plan so far. But I'm not a longsword, so I'm not pushing in there. But I can do the musket thing that people are always doing to me and just be a real pain in the ass. <laughs> a real nuisance. Oh, I love it. I'm actually rather enjoying the musket, if I'm perfectly honest with you. Even though it is a peasant's weapon. Key thing here, not to die. So we're not going to stick our neck out too far. Look at the accuracy of the Kriegs rats and the rapid rate of fire. They're absolutely fantastic. Oh yeah, we do that pain in the butt thing where we just spam everyone with tick damage and bomb damage. Who we messy? Loving it. So um, yeah, with the targets moving left to right, the Imperial Arquebusiers are a bit hit and miss on it, but it seems that they're much better at targeting moving heroes than they are at targeting moving infantry. So keep that in mind people behind me here so I'm taking a bit of a risk it's good that that unit moved in oh no I don't like people behind me here I cannot die if I want to get five in a row anyway speaking of five in a row better bring our unit back over oh cavalry yeah got one Ugh. yikes ah Nadachi's got me run 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 shoot them friends <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Spear. Appreciate your support there. A random kill in the background. Now, assist is not what we want. We want kills. Still plenty of people in there to steal their lives. But yes, yeah, so if you like muskets and you want to hunt heroes, I definitely recommend the Kriegs Rat Fusiliers. Um, you do have to move them backwards and forwards a lot to, to the supply point because they have very low ammunition. But um, it's not the worst thing in the world. They're better than javelins, right? Can we save him? He's fine. He's a short sword. So the plan from here is... Well, let me just deal with these guys. So try and throw those spikes down to prevent people running away quickly. <laughs> ah, clean sweep of the A point. Might as well shoot them in the back as they run away. See if we can get the hero, kill the hero, kill the hero, kill the hero, kill the hero. Damn it. Never mind. There's still plenty of opportunity. Ah, no. Don't push. Go to the supply point. <clears throat> 
So yeah, if you are using the Kriegser at Fusiliers, you will find yourself running backwards and forwards a lot. Now this looks like a musket's dream. They're deciding to defend the gateway with the units and heroes. See if we can pick some off. Big clusters of enemy, and I've got bombs and Keltrops. Keltrops are amazing because they slow down the enemy heroes a lot, and it makes them easy to kill for our, our team. And of course, bombs go boom. Do like bombs. Ooh. Yeah, there we go, have another one. Oh, I love seeing all those damage numbers tick up. Just love it. Where's my guys? It's just, just saw them on the map, letting our team know. You, know, you don't want people spawning with archers or something like that and straight into an enemy uh, cavalry force or, you know, anything really. And we're going to bring in our gunners who are going to do some absolutely fantastic damage because they pretty much can't miss in this range. There, there we go. What have we got? Four? Is that four? <laughs> oh, this is just, just a dream scenario. Dream scenario of Kriegs rats blazing away into into this sort of thing, and at the same time, absolutely get them, get them, ah. absolutely smashing them with all of the musket uh, abilities. You know, it's really interesting to be doing a damage class rather than a, a true support class like the the long sword is. Um, we don't actually want to be pushing this, but there's no one else here, so we're going to do that. Archers aren't going to push it. Oh, there we go. There's some peasants. They can push. There we go. And yes, push it. Good on yours. No, wait. Come back. Come on, you push the siege engine. Archers are going to do it. No. Spear sergeants are going to do it. No. I guess it's going to be up to the Kriegs rats at this rate. Look, there's a unit of surf sitting there. Push the damn thing. Never mind. The team's doing really well at this stage. So, now we wait. Um, other than keeping one eye on the map to make sure we don't get flanked or anything like that, we have very little to do at the moment. So I might just go and knock on the door with the friends here. I don't know if this damage counts towards getting skill points for your weapon, but um, I definitely need skill points. So I'll keep banging on this for as long as it takes. Um, really good to see our team already captured the rear supply and are on D. That's quite incredible. Um, really, really good effort from our team. Boom, boom, boom. Knock, knock, knock. <laughs> it's actually not a terrible um, uh, basic attack, the, the musket one. Certainly prefer it over something like the pole axe. Hey. Oh yes, I can do something about that now. I don't have to stand down here with a longsword and just heal them. <laughs> I can drive them away. Alright, it's a nice archway we've got here. And I guess we're going to need this ladder. So thinking ahead, um, what do I want to do once we get through these gates? Um, I probably want to break left to the supply point. Um, I can see that we've already captured B, so the supply point on the left is probably a good bet. But first of all, we have to not get killed as we come through this door. So I'm going to get ready with the Keltrops to give my guys a chance to run away when that happens. There we go, and run, boys. But there's no one there, so that makes me happy. Well, and a little unhappy. You know, victims are a good thing to have. Especially when you've got a... Uh, okay, let's not have that happen again. Quick, guys, quick, 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 quick. We're not going to break left because we have no support. If there's even a hero over there, we'll, uh, we'll be in trouble. Um, what have we got? Oh, what are they? Might just stay here and see if they just keep trying... Give, give them a target to shoot at so they don't move while that tread drops. Not a well-placed tread, that one, unfortunately. Such is life. Let's have a look in here. We'll just make sure we're not going to get flanked in the back, and we'll push up to C. Although I'm feeling very, very vulnerable here. Um, I don't actually like this scenario. Nope. Going to retreat a bit. Though we have now got some infantry support, so with that we might just stand and shoot. Um, I just didn't want to be the front unit, and I definitely didn't want to be taking the damage. 
I need these guys to get me my uh, my five kill medal. Still struggling with the um, the bomb ranges and things like that, but I'm getting better. I've had a couple of games in between the the last one uh, and and this one. Uh, they went a little bit terribly. Let's put it that way. Let's put it that way. You know, I had one that was about 23 kills. <laughs> It's life. Oh, oh, we got another kill. Excellent. What's that? Do we need one more, or is that five? I haven't got much ammo. Was briefly considering going back to the supply point there, but uh, the sea point beckons, and definitely capturing the point is better than going back to supply. We have enough ammo to sort of fend off these these beasties. Huh? Oh, should have been watching my map. Let's see if we can catch him with a slow. Ah, we got him. <laughs> oh, or not. Oh, stop shooting my boys. Let's have a quick squiz over the back here. Nothing. So what I really want to do is capture that top left supply, uh, the one inside the walls. But our team seem to be going to D, which is not a terrible idea, but... It would be nice to be able to attack the, um, the final point from both sides. So I think that's what we're going to do. <clears throat> Ooh, what are we here? Cavalry. I wonder if I can bait them down for the Imperial Pikes. Can. Right. Now when this happens, you put them up against a wall like this. So that when the cavalry charge into them, they, can, um, they, they stop. And then your unit can actually have a chance of stabbing them to death. But Kriegs rats in close combat are no joke. Don't underestimate the Kriegs rats. There we go. What's that? Three or four cavalry with the last of our unit. Let's shoot this guy in the back. Whoa, he's got a lot of hit points or something. I see a full armor or a full toughness guy. Never mind. Go and get him, my last Kriegs rat fusilier. You can do it. That's Steve. Steve's uh, Steve's the best guy in the whole lot. Oh, he's gone. Bye, Steve. <laughs> Steve. Never mind. We've got a whole more unit of boomsticks before we have to get going to our little peasanty sort of thing. Um, we're going to do a quick heal up so we're going in fresh and we'll take the boom boys and move them in. Um, I often get a question about the, the helmets of the attire of this unit. Um, they're the uh, Falcon Order, I believe, and it's from the Season 1. Oh, no. oh, had a heart attack there, I thought they were enemy. Um, yeah, it's from the Season 1 unit attire. Um, I think I actually picked it up late in sort of that Season 4 uh, through the F5 shop. So you should do that too. Right, we'll just put these guys up here. Actually, there anything up there? There's some archers. Hopefully we're far enough around the corner. But we're needed here to cause some chaos. And my objective here at the moment is just to prevent as many of these guys coming down the stairs as possible. Or at least slow them down. Hey, you stop it. Um, we're starting to take some damage on the muskets. Do I sacrifice them, or are we okay? Oh, there's some pikes there too. And let's have a look. What are those Imperial pikes doing? They're losing the main point, but they're hungry for kills on the Tercios. That's fine with me. We'll just put down some spikes so they can't come back quick enough to actually make a difference. And hopefully, that will be the end of them. Ah, ouch. Leave me alone. Ah, my friend's got you. <laughs> Oh, I love it. And there's a victory. Absolutely beautiful. And we got our five hero kills. So that's one out of three no quarter badges. Um, 96 kills, 1.5 million damage. Oh, you don't get that very often as a longsword. But we only took half a million. All round, it's okay. It's not too bad. We came in second. It's pretty good. We did get uh, 221 participation, but... I'm quite surprised with the, the numbers I can get with this uh, this weapon, even at this stage. So be it. Um, let's have a look. How did we do? Uh, all in all, uh, the Kriegs rats just did amazing, and we hit them for the most of the battle. Pushed in, killed three or four hero, uh, three heroes, pushed up the ramp, killed another hero, pushed inside, killed another hero, quite a little bit of luck involved in that one, but we got our five for the no quarter badges, because the, the tier three bomb uh, skill, you know, the and, and you hit P and go to skills, it actually requires three of those no quarter badges, and for some reason I have heaps of no quarter badges, but 
um, it won't let me click through. So I'm assuming you need to do it with the musket. If I'm wrong, please tell me in the comments because I'm, I'm new to this weapon and I'd love to hear what you've got to say about it. And if you've got any uh, tips at all about the musket, um, again, I'd love to hear them. I'm surviving here on my game knowledge and map knowledge. <laughs> All right, I hope you learned something new or you just enjoyed the battle. I am going to do a third one. Stick around. Hey, boys and girls, welcome back to part three of our musket assault. We are taking on here in Riverlands and we're defending, which is a perfect spot for two COs and a musket. Check it to check it out. Well, I'm damn sure we're going to get a good score today, which would be pretty good because, again, I had another couple of bad matches right before this one. So. It's one of the best things about YouTubing instead of being a Twitch streamer. You know, you don't get to see the real bad ones. And also, you know, I cut out things like stuttery and laggy ones as well. So it probably looks like sometimes when I play on this server, it's a lot smoother. That's not the case. Um, you know, I cut out all the laggy and stuttery and crashes and dropouts. They just don't make it through production into, um, into publishing. So looking down our teams here. Um, looks like both teams are fairly well balanced. We might be a little bit ranged heavy, but that's not terrible on uh, Riverlands defense. Um, so we'll see how it goes. Now don't forget, if you are part of the, the My Game server, um, up on screen now is uh, my Night Stalker code, and you can get these, um, these unit attires and things down the bottom here through some of the packages uh, that are available on the my.game store so if you'd like to get some of those or you ever are purchasing um, please do put in my code nightstalker and that would really help the channel as i can purchase more cool stuff to show you it's kind of a little one-sided thing isn't it but i really appreciate it when you do support me <laughs> um come on level 18 gold guy We've got, a, we've, got a, we've got a game to get on with here. Let's skip forward to the uh, start of the battle. Oh, I don't need to. Apparently we're leaving him behind and proceeding on without him, which is fine with me. Lovely loading and animation. Check it, check it out. Tercio's going on up. Now, when you're defending in here, um, there is a cannon that can hit this wooden bridge here where I'm standing. So if you're going to defend with uh, a ranged unit, put it uh, front or back of um, the that hole in the floor, what do you call it, the murder port or murder hole or whatever they call them in a castle. Um, because standing up here where these, where these Kriegs are is pretty dangerous because there is one cannon over the far side that can actually shoot in. Just over there. And he's just hit the side of the wall, so I know that they're shooting in. Um, might shoot, set up my green grape shot cannon. Because grape shot... Oops, because grape shot cannons are, are really, really good in defending this particular piece of wall. Um, not just because, of course, they do monster damage to anyone standing really close to them, but also if I put my tercios up against the wall, anything charging like condos or even serfs will hit the cannon before they hit the um, the unit. So consider that when you're you're defending. It's my uh, tip for this video. It's the last one. No more. You know, don't be greedy. <laughs> um, Turns out that's out of range. I uh, probably shouldn't be surprised. Let's see if we can bump off some of these serfs or whatever it is pushing these. Maybe one of them. Can we bomb the tower? You almost never keep the siege towers out on Riverlands. Which is probably for the best because it's very hard to take this top port here. But I wonder between the range units here, uh, range terrace here whether we can actually destroy this. Let's say we need more than this. Um, you used to be able to bring like your two sirs out and shoot into the tower. Uh, apparently they put a stop to that at some point. So let's just keep them nice and safe and behind. And I just don't think we're going to be able to do it. See those big gold shields? It's my Talalori pushing it. So they get a massive damage reduction. And that's what allowed the tower to come in. And that's why um, the Martellalori is so strong. Uh, I have this problem all the time with the firebomb um, that it clips on the walls. Again, if you've got any musket tips, I'm really keen to hear them. Please put them in the uh, the comment section. Really, really keen. Ooh. Oh, I hit him. Apparently that's not out of range. Headshot too. Right, now we're all nice and stacked in. They're sort of creeping through underneath here. I wonder if I can be a nuisance. Have some spiky foot things. <laughs> and 
No one's coming up the towers. That's okay, we are playing for time. Um, this is the place you can stand too. If you didn't know that you could stand here, you can quite comfortably and you can get out again really easily too. Nobody wants to play with my firebomb? Never mind. There'll be more. You see this position here, how they can shoot both sides? Really useful. Oh, 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 mine, 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 bouge. <laughs> you see how he's going to stop and try and attack the cannon? Fatal mistake. And I've put the Caltrops down so that there's no way that they can make it nice and easily into the ranged units. And it's an absolute massacre given the amount of heavy, heavy firepower we have here. We've even got the longbow up in front and shooting down in. It's really good to have that longbow up there um, because he can spot the tower and it means that anyone trying to... Oh, oh, oh apparently there's range there. 770 damage. Nice. Um, uh, because you can see on the map then um, when uh, people are pushing up the siege tower. It was a terrible bomb. Oh, mine, mine, mine. No, not to be. I'm getting real nervous that people are pushing up. No, nope, Mr. Longbow's still there, but he's shooting at something. People on B. So there's not much strategy to this at the moment, especially not at this very early stage. Uh, I can't teach you any special game design things or, or mechanics, because basically we're just slaughtering anything that comes up the towers, and that's pretty much how you play the first start part of this. I used to really love this map when I first started. Oh no. If you're playing the shields on your team, here's a tip I can give you. See how those shields ran away because the hero died? If you are playing as the shields on your team, it's really important that you don't take unnecessary risks. Um, because, of course, if you die, your unit retreats, and your team are relying on you and making plans around your, your shield base. So if you are playing as shields, uh, please play more conservatively. Your team will thank you. You know, bad stuff happens. Oh, here's something I can't do as a longsword. Bomb people. Oh, too far. Still getting this down. Yeah. <laughs> really enjoying this, being able to uh, take out archers and stuff. It's a bit short, but we killed some. Apparently they're out of range. Or maybe I just suck. <laughs> and I've been away from this side too long, so I want to check it. Yeah, see, there is someone coming up. Hello, Berserkers. Now, I'm rather glad that those Berserkers decided not to come up, because that would have been a bit much to bear, I imagine, for all of these uh, gunners and things. These iron caps are really good. I think my next unit guide I'm going to do is going to be on the iron cap gunners, because I quite like them. They're really cute. Um, now that that cannon stopped firing, I'm going to put them up in the middle so that they're further away from the siege towers. They also have a better angle. Uh, they can shoot more often. See, the way that they can angle onto the towers now is better. Go away. Ooh, can we get a bomb in the middle of them? Oh, heck yeah. <laughs> I love it. And as you can see, the Tercios now have a better angle on both landing points. Um, although they are more vulnerable there, of course. And is this man coming up? All right, let's see if we can delay him a little bit longer. Not today, Polax. not like he's going to die from it, but I might be able to... Oh, did he seriously just try and treb me alone? What a waste of a treb. Oh, wouldn't have been a waste of a treb if I fell off there. Would you like a flamey bomb? Catch. <laughs> Dear sir, looks like your underpants are on fire. Have you been telling too many lies? Whoops, surfs. Surfs will get devastated by all of this firepower here. In fact, I can probably ignore them because they're going to get absolutely shot. Hey, shoot him! Shoot him! Oh, I stole my cannon, you Uh-oh. My bombs are all off cooldown. Help! My Tercios are also almost out of ammunition. But, here's the thing about Tercios. Tercios can fight green and blue tier units in close combat. Oh, <laughs> we killed a hero in Tercio close combat, apparently. I don't think I shot him. Look at them. They can actually fight the condos. We've only lost three in close combat with them. How's that for cool? That's because... Oh, Iron Reapers! No! 
I didn't notice that. Situational awareness night. Don't be a muppet. But we'll put that um, that Kel drops down so it gives our team a bit of breathing space. Anyone running through it is going to be too slow to pursue. Off you go. Might just stick around and chuck a couple of bombs. Ah ha ha ha. Tried to hit me in the back. Not today, blue guy. <laughs> it's always funny. I don't know how these poor um, new players get into games of this level, but oh, I see them and I think, you poor bugger. Um, the Caltrops are doing the, the business. They've dissuaded people from coming down. But yeah, they, that blue arm is a deep giveaway for a new player, and you know that you can just sort of mess with them. So if you are a new player, um, it's best not to advertise that you're a new player. So the first available skin that you get, please put it on your armor. Because when you see people in that blue outfit, you just know that you can do whatever you like and there's very little danger to you. Um, yeah. <laughs> Nobody here. Um, they're pushing down to B though. I can see that quite clearly on the map. So come along to see your boys. We're going to go shoot some people. This is good. Imperial Spear Guard. One of the toughest and hardest units in the game. A little bit out of meta since the um, Stalwarts, although they are making a bit of a comeback, which I'm pleased to see. Because they are m uh, more resilient than the Stalwarts, of course, they just don't do all the damage that the Stalwarts do. Here we go, we've got a bit of a dream scenario for the people that do AoE, like, I don't know, a musket player. Try and shoot some of these berserkers and overwhelm their healing. There we go. That's one thing you can do when you see the berserkers. Um, you know, do as much damage as you as a hero can do. If it's the right circumstances, do as much damage as you can to the um, berserkers just to try and overwhelm their, their self-heal as much as you can. Try and shoot these guys running around the flank. A minute left. Oh, no, they're taking A. It's no good. Ah, the Pavis. What are you guys up to? Excuse me. I don't really want you to... Uh, Must not die. Must get five kills before dying. Boom. Ah, oh, I didn't kill the longsword. How annoying. You know, longswords are pretty difficult to kill. What a pain in the butt longswords are. <laughs> Who would have thought? I missed them. Ah, oh, shit. Uh, let's see if we can kill some archers, though. That'd be nice. Ooh, it's starting to hurt. Ow! The spiky things on the floor. Who, who, would, who does that? Seriously. Um, what did, No, don't run off the point. What are you doing? We're healing. <laughs> no, what are you, no, ah. <laughs> why, did those, why did those high health heroes go off the point? What are you guys doing? Oh, well, mistakes were made. Never mind. It happens, it happens. But that was a very predictable outcome. I don't know. Ah, the firebomb clipping on the corner again. What a pain. Um, it happens, it happens. It happens to the best of us, I guess. That was definitely an unforced error that uh, gave up that point. It's alright, we're just going to have to defeat them at A. Um, we're okay for now. I might find a corner and hide, or I might go up and see if I can scavenge those archers. That's not what I wanted to see. I wanted to get up and um, attack those archers that are shooting down. But that's life. Um, this is fun, man. Longswords don't do damage like this. You, <laughs> you might knock them all over, but you're not going to kill them. Oops. Hmm. We have a lot here protecting A. And whoever brought these shields along is doing a great job. And they've got them facing the right way too. That might seem counterproductive, putting the back of the, the unit. You know, how people can come out of that gateway and come around it. But the reality is, is that they're being attacked from, well, our front now. And anything attacking the back of that unit is going to get absolutely slaughtered by our ranged. Oh, that's a bit unfortunate. We'll slow everybody down there. There we go. We managed to overwhelm the Berserker's self-heal, so that's really good. Although, we've got a lot of the enemy here. I wonder if we can blow some of these ranged up. It's a problem with these um, good tier 4 and tier 5 muskets is they're actually really hard to kill, the musket units. You have to put, have to put quite a bit of killing into them. Fortunately, I can throw a lot of killing. 
Minute 14. Win or lose, I'm going to die here. <laughs> I'm not leaving this point. These poor men-at-arms here just getting massacred. <laughs> what else is new for men-at-arms? Oh, if you watched my last video, uh, well, it'll be the last video by the time this releases, uh, I was struggling to make an MAA guide, and they're a very weak unit. Never mind. It is what it is. And it looks like we're going to take this out. I don't see them capturing the A point now. Well, it's possible if some of our heroes walk away. Mr. Polax, come back to the point. Although the range is whittling down the heroes quite nicely. So it looks like this one's going to be a victory, since we have Imperial Pike Guard. Um, we'll take our elite men-at-arms. And off we go. I don't think we're going to get to use them. Not even these cavalry are going to make it in time. But we're going to make a valiant attempt. Last-ditch attempt, just in case. And that's GG, boys and girls. Let's see how we did in the summary. Oh, way, 138 kills, 81 and 2. Tercio's popped off. 1.6 million damage. And really, that's the only unit we used the whole game. Love it. Um, came in fourth. Uh, it's pretty understandable, um, given how little damage we took, given uh, that we're just using muskets the whole time. That's really just the reality of if you take ranged units, you're not going to take any damage, and then you're going to get a lower score. Uh, we got a little bit of participation, but that's not unusual in a defense game. Mind you, a lot of our guys got high participation. Quite unusual for defending, so those people did really, really well. Quite pleased with that. Let's see where our deaths are. Really, the only deaths we've got are the Tercios in the tower, where they, uh, the Iron Reapers snuck up really stealthily and quickly, because that's what Iron Reapers do. But anyway, I didn't see them, and they got half a unit. Um, other than that, the game went pretty smoothly. Hey man, I hope you enjoyed this little musket journey with me. I've had a great time, a bit of fun, and I, I think I might persist with the musket for a little while, because it's a really enjoyable class. I hope you learned something new, or you just enjoyed the battle. Thanks for coming to my channel.